This year we've had um, a huge number of papers submitted to our subcommittee on micro and nanophotonics. And uh, it's been a very exciting uh, review session of those papers. They, they were very, very high quality, um, especially uh, the, the topics that are continuing to be hot from, from previous years on silicon nanophotonic devices. And this year we're seeing um, a lot more functionality of the devices, a lot more advancements. Uh, whereas before, some of the basic uh, functions of the, of the devices were demonstrated this year, we see things like very high speed multicasting on a chip uh, and, and other uh, larger scale integration platforms. So silicon nanophotonics uh, has been progressing very rapidly over the last very few years and, and so we are seeing, uh, whereas before we only saw kind of basic switching uh, functionalities or modulation functionalities, now we're actually seeing a lot more data processing, a lot more papers that have you know, real data being processed on a chip, uh, high functionality things like multicasting, which is very important for various applications of networking on a chip, um, routing, and, and, and various other higher functionality uh, devices with more complex integration and control. So it's, uh, it's just tremendous progress. It's been very, very exciting. If you look at every leading university, uh, kind of worldwide, um, you know, they're really the top, top researchers are in this field, uh, it, it, you know, within the context of photonics. Uh, and so, and that's, that's really part of the reason that uh, some of the best, best work that's going on in photonics is being done in, I believe, in nanophotonics and, and uh, you know, nanophotonic applications of nanophotonics. So, and, and that's also the reason probably that our committee got such a record number of papers. I mean, this is kind of, uh, researchers realize that there's just so much um, progress that it, sort of the floodgates have kind of opened because of a combination of fabrication techniques, uh, the, the combination of silicon, electronics, and photonics. That's, that op that's opening up a whole new uh, realm. And at the nanoscale, you have this whole fundamental uh, aspect of being able to probe quantum mechanical things that you've never been able to look at experimentally before. So it, it's sort of the, now that things are at the nanoscale uh, and, and photonically and the combination of silicon, there's sort of a, these, these sort of new areas that have opened up at these intersections. And that's where the talent goes. They realize this is where it's at uh, and that that's where a lot of the new ideas and, the, and results are going to come from.